at a two sixty book price at a three dollars and forty cents. Races in the red rug, and we'll go to the inside with the Don Morocco three deception diva five and Scott the looks off for seven. Pretty in pink jets and singer. Hey Carly and Jack no lag out wide. So we're set, we're ready. Oh, but no, that second line's still loading up there. For this, the sixth of the day. We're ready. Danny says to Michael, give us a lure. And it's about to roll for race number six. Set and ready. Rounded cups. Off we go. Botany Wayne gets away fairly, showing a bit of speed out wide. There we go to Scott. The looks and underneath there would have been Hey Carly. Wider still. There is Jack. No lag. They've followed a length or two. Don Morocco off the track a little bit. There is Pretty and Pink towards the tail of the field. Jets and Singer Deception. Diva. Down the back they go and Scott. The looks opened them up nicely. Getting the run through now comes Hey Carly. Back there we go to Botany Wayne. The outside there is Pretty and Pink. Jack. No lag. Followed round there by Jets and Singer. Don Morocco. Deception. Diva. Up they come and kicking over the top. Hey Carly. Hey Carly. Botany Wayne, then we go to Scott, the looks followed there by Pretty and Pink, further back still there, we would have had Jetson Singer, that's been followed home there by Jack No Lag, and towards the tail of the field, Don Morocco back there with the Deception Diva, hey Carly she'd done it today start number 80, 82 and gets the job done nicely and uh, she normally likes to find early, but she's found late today 172 and 630 and 62 the winner's time, and she's been too strong uh, there to the line so Jared and Denise, well done there. Uh, with uh, Hey Carly. Uh, the, uh, I think Botany Wayne won that race. I think uh, we better have a look at the board there. For sure. Uh, there. <laughs> so we'll just get some splits. Uh, 470, 15, 79, 15 and 52. 172 and 6 has gone up on the board. That's the last race. That's the last race. Uh, there it's got to be. So the board hasn't moved. We have got problems with the board. As I said, trade it and get another one. Uh, the, uh, so one seven, uh, the numbers uh, that I did write down, uh, the six getting home and getting home quite nicely uh, to beat the one and the seven. Uh, there in that time of 30 and 62. Uh, or 31.01. And there was that time. 4.70, 15.79, 15 and 52. We're all over the place here today with this board. But nice one. Uh, there to the six. Hey, Carly normally uh, is up with the play, but finished strongly today. Botany Wayne. I thought every chance. Track to the line. All right. And Scott the looks and improvers run there for third. Race number seven. We'll be back for that. Uh, the um, uh, final over the 3.18 metres at 12 past three. Good on you, Pete. Jason Tees will be with you at that uh, time as the double comes up at $20.10 and concession at $2.20. Six, one, seven, and two, all confirmed. It was one, seven, two, and six, yes, in the previous. Back we go to Ringiora for race five. This is the first leg of the late Quaddy Greg, although we're suggesting earlier on today that it's probably a treble because Stun Gun should be winning the last. It appears that way, DA, but we've been to the races, you and I, and plenty listening in um, many times thinking that, and it doesn't unfold that way, but it does look that way in the last. Look, Franco Newbolt bolts the favourite here, 250 opened at $2.10. Beautifully bred by Christian Cullen out of the uh, dual group one winner in Nerea Franco, but oh, I haven't been taken by its workout and trials, not so much that it should start at that. It, he's been well schooled at them, that's for sure. He started out at Miffin back in October, and he's been placed in many of those, and there's been some handy horses in front of him. Pat's Dragon, trained by the uh, Hope team. They've always had a bit of a bit of a rap on it. It finished second to it a couple of times. Uh, it finished third behind Diamond Edition and Preston Pans here towards the end of last month. And it's had two workouts since the most recent of those. Uh, it was beaten just over a length here on the first. Uh, Bushido was second in that. Pretty good form line, I suppose. 57 8, 28 1. Big, rangy son of Christian Cullen, so you can see why uh, he has taken quite a bit of time. I thought those with the uh, race form, a better dancer, and Nucleus VC might be better bet options. So let's find out from Samantha Otley what she thinks about runner 11. Sam Nucleus VC racing really well and gets in off the front line here, so that's got to be a help. 
Yeah, that's right, Greg. I'm lucky we've had a few scratchings and managed to sneak off the front there, which will help immensely. You know, he's a good beginner, and yeah, it's great to get back with the old firm of Colin and Julie. And you know, it's always a pleasure putting their colours on. And yeah, he's got the form on the board, and hopefully today he can um, maybe go one close, one better. Yeah, that form you know so well because of course you drove Izzy Dag to beat him last time. You got a fair rap on that horse. Yeah, that's right. I do. Like I said, I have got a lot of time for that horse, and um, you know, Cole's one actually went really good that day too. You know, he wasn't far off. So yeah, hopefully he can just like you say go one one step closer today. Future Queen, race number six, trialled third behind Tahoro Tees uh, at Ashburton on Tuesday and is placed in its only run here. Yeah, that's right. She's only a wee girl, um, wee Dora, but um, Kev will have her on song and she's had a nice trial to, to get her ready for this. And um, yeah, she gets off the front and, you know, there's some good ones off back marks, but if she can step and get handy early and, and do no work, she, she might sneak a place. Immortal change in race number seven finds herself in the right sort of race. There's a few searching for form and she's one of those. Yeah, that's right. Um, probably an even old bunch and it's probably whoever gets the right run will get the money here. Drawn out a little bit, but, um, you know, if she can lift on, on their last couple of runs, you know, she might be a sneaky place chance. And my Nana's got no teeth in the last. Uh, inside barrier draw should be an advantage and has got pretty good form because Classy Reactor did finish second to it uh, at Timaru, um, has gone on and won and subsequently been sold. Yeah, she's got the right draw to work with today anyway, so, um, you know, that's all helps, but, yeah, Two, three starts back was really good and then uh, you know a couple just okay runs since then but yeah with the draw to use today hopefully we can um, you know get the money back in the till there. All right good luck to you. Thanks very much. Samantha Rightly with her thoughts around her chances Nucleus VC yeah, starts from uh, wide out here which I think it'll be an advantage and uh, the second last time was a really strong one. Money uh, is pretty solid around the favourite here though and Matthew Franco Newbolt, adjudicator's run last time behind Izzy Dag was very good. Yes, it's drawn one. It's actually trained by Michael Cations, the man who uh, is sponsoring the passing lane here these days. Yes, a level head insulation, and uh, yep, good that uh, Michael's been able to work together with the club and get the passing lane uh, named after his business. And look, it's not without a chance here, adjudicator, the son of Artificial, having starts number nine today. I think that Izzy Dag form will stack up from uh, Addington, the 2,000 metre stand. I want probably a little bit left field to the market. Nucleus VC, I thought. Uh, was one of the better bets of the day at $4.40 after his good run behind Dizzy Dag. Put in the four, Rafa Novak. It's the value in the race, I think, if it steps away. $14 the price. Number 10, a better dancer. Well, he's had plenty of chances to break maiden. Start 21 today, and he's been well found once again at $5.20. And then the 12, Bicton, isn't the worst. $28 the price around it. Go back a couple of starts, and it's only been three and a half lengths off Sweeney Todd after drawing uh, the outside off the stand. So... Ricky May and Terry May might provide you some value drawn off the second row, but it is an even lot. Franco Newbolt, he's a, a good-looking, strong type. He's been kept down there at the start with the Clark of the...